all dressed. Got my jumpsuit on. Zipped it up. Free freaking. Yep. Are you okay with taking the lead on it? Yeah. Okay. So this is all I have. Yeah. Work. A204. But I bet you it's these ladies right here. What happened? Okay. You're, we're sitting uh, in, you're being on a video recorded too, okay? Okay. We were sitting in Van Ham's so favorite, like, the like because John's stuck in this apartment. Okay. She drove up with her friend. Now, I have a police report out on her already from the okay. harassment. Okay, just, just tell me what happened today. Okay. So she started screaming, Don't look at me. No. We weren't looking at her. And evidently she was screaming at her because her dog's pregnant with one puppy instead of her. her dog. Yeah, Misty. So she who's this to you? Just a friend and a neighbor. Okay. Whose van and is this? This is my van. Okay. And uh, so she kept screaming and kept screaming and kept screaming stuff about me. And I finally just, it, I hit the limit. I threw this into the seat. I walked over. I said, you don't just quit talking about it. You just shut your mouth and leave me alone. And she says, well, I'll call the cops. So I grabbed her phone. And she had her pregnant dog in his hand, and she threw her down to where she cried, barely people ran to get her, and then she threw the first punch. She okay. got me here, and my glasses were 15 feet away. I'm 57 years old. I don't have to fight. I got some disease. I'm not going to be able to move in the morning. Okay. I mean, I'm going to have to be watched for a while. And she just came out with me, and she grabbed my head and grabbed it in the ground, um, pulled my hair out. <laughs> um... And it's, you want to know what it all comes down to? Because I asked her to put her Cigarettes? dog. Cigarettes? No, I asked her to put her dog on a leash a while back when her dog was pregnant or in heat because it kept going squirting on my dog to get my dogs up to that. Okay. So now she hates my dog. My do you, dog do you want medics or anything? No. I did, did you hit her? Oh, uh, I don't know. Did I hit her? I don't remember. I don't remember. I was down on the ground. What's your last name? She's Gisha? long hours, but I don't think she ever connected to her. Hold on. What's your last name? B-I-S-H. B-I-S-H-O-P. First. Robin. R-O-B-I-N. I-N. Mm-hmm. Middle. L. Lynn. L-Y-N-N. Date of birth. 11-1-57. Old. <laughs> you live here? Yeah, 106. I'm on this is all of the itself. I live here alone. A106? Yeah. How tall are you? 5'7. Uh, How much do you weigh? 200 pounds. Color your eyes. Usually brown, right now red. Ooh, get to go inside her ass. That's why I like um. Oh crap. Uh Missy, would you go get my phone? I don't remember my phone number. And it's not in your phone. It should be sitting there next to my phone. Just tell you for me here too, okay? Sure. I just I'll just just hang here until I come back. You don't need medics though. No, I'm up.
hair conditions. Right? I'm, I'm more concerned about her. She's pregnant. And um, when the lady was, kept coming at me and trying to hit me and take my phone, then when she first started coming at me, I started dialing when she was trying to get my phone. And Robin was? Uh-huh. So why did Robin approach you? How did the conversation start? Because we were talking about, I mean, it's just been constant with her. And um, she supposedly said, I'm harassing her by walking in front of her apartment. I live here. I pay my rent. I don't, I try not to bother anybody. I hardly ever come out of my apartment. I have PTSD and I have social anxiety disorder. It's hard for me to even come out of here, let alone even be around anybody. And I'm, for me to walk down that sidewalk to the laundry room or to, to the, to the, um, to get my mail or to take out my garbage, that's not harassing. That's me trying to just be, you okay. know. Sorry. So, so I'm, I, that's what her issue is. Okay, so she walked up. She, she jumped out of her van. We were talking, Robin, um, I mean, Misty and I and my friend Jerry were talking about the dog because, um, Misty's dog is the one that we bred her with. So we were sitting there talking about her and she just kept going on and I said, just shut up. And I said, and she just kept going on and I said, just shut up. My friend told her to shut up and she jumped out of her van. I said, I had my phone in my hand and I had mentioned to her, I said, those are not service animals. So she said that they're service animals and they're aggressive. They bark all the time. I have a service animal. I have P50 and I have seizures. And I have so let's focus on what Robin was saying so, to you. Um, so Robin jumped out of the car and said what? And she said something. She was saying as she was coming at me, I said get away from me. And I, um, uh, she said something, she was saying something about her about my phone or something. And she just and she went to grab at me or grab at my phone. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to say get away from me, get away from me. And and I'm I keep backing up. And she just started grabbing at me. And I started grabbing back. I mean you know just to get her away. I'm trying to hold my dog and keep her protected. And and then Olivia, I couldn't hold her anymore and keep her off me. And I kept saying, get away from me, get off me. And I, and Olivia fell out of my arms right there because she, she, she wouldn't get away from me. She would not get off me. And she grabbed my hair and started swinging at me, and I just kept swinging back, trying to protect myself. But, you know, my P PTSD, I, you know, I mean, I felt very threatened. I mean, if she's going to come at me, if she jumps out of her van and comes at me at a fast pace more than just a walk, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm on the, on the phone with the officer, or 911, she, she's saying, oh, well, I'm just walking around you. And, well, sorry. You know, it's like, she's going on about that I, that she filed a report against me, that I'm harassing her because I go by her house. I have no other alternatives. I live here. I pay my rent. It's on time. You know, I have a right well, to walk okay, down the okay, sidewalk okay. to take out my garbage or right. check my mail. All right. Did something happen to your elbow today? No. Okay. Your face, is that from today? No. Did you but punch no. her? When she uh, when she grabbed me and hit me. Okay. She's got a pretty good pretty good mark on her uh, on her right eye temple area. She grabbed did you do that me. To her? She, she was hitting me. Okay. Listen to me. Listen. Yes, I did. I hit that. You hit her. Because she hit me. Because first. she grabbed. No. Yeah. Look, just listen. Hit you at. She hit me in here in the face, and she was just swinging at me. What am I supposed to do? She wouldn't get off me. Okay. So she grabbed your cell phone, and, and you guys started and scuffling. She, and grabbed my hair. Okay. I grabbed my shirt. So we have a mutual assault. She came at me and assaulted me. Okay. Let I me, had was fighting listen, for myself. We have a mu This is what I'm telling you. We have a mutual assault. Do you How want, is it mutual? Okay. Because you guys both were hitting each other. Yeah. But that's I'm a, that's called a mutual myself. assault. I, I, I understand. But it's a mutual assault. You guys can go to court and figure this out. Okay, but wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not coming to her, right? She comes... To hit me, right, and that all be no, that all be noted in the in the and report. And so she doesn't go to jail, even though she comes at me. Well, if you want to take people to jail, we'll, we'll take both of you to jail. We can but figure that. She started this. Okay, I, I don't you, get you kept that. you keep interrupting me. Oh, I'm you're, sorry. You're not understanding. Okay. If if we want to take people to jail, I'm going to take both of you to jail. If you want to figure this out today, do you want to be a victim? I'm not trying to be anybody's victim, especially first. Okay, do you want to press charges? And what if what happens if I do? Then I'm gonna we're gonna issue you both citations for assault. You're gonna go to court. 
in this problem in my life. Okay. You know, but what gives her the right to come out of her van? Nothing. Come at me? Uh, here's our, here's the question. Though. Do you want? So why am I the victim? I mean, why am I paying to for fighting back? You're, you're no, you're not. That's what I'm asking. Do you want to do you want to press charges? Well, I don't want to go. I don't want to get. I mean, I can't win here. I, I mean, I'm not trying to win, but I can't. I, where is the justice in this? She gets out well, of the her justice van. Well, you go to court, but that, that's part of the process. Is if you're going to say that you want to press charges against somebody, and they want to do the same to you, or however it works, you guys have to go to court, and then you guys go to before a judge. You explain both of your sides, and it's a long, drawn-out process. We just want to make sure you understand all the facets of what's going to happen next. And if I don't... And, and if, you if you don't and she doesn't, then you avoid each other. Then you okay. avoid each other and you go your separate ways. What if she? Okay. And how do I file a restraining order against you? You have to go downtown. Go to the what you can do, you can very clearly do. Because we're going to write a report on this regardless, just so it's in the system. So okay. if you want to file a restraining order against, you can. And are you going to? Are you? Will you take Mr. Smith's um, statement also? I'll give him a call. Okay. So yes, you want to press charges, or no, you do if not. If I file charges, she goes to jail too. We, we you, both go to jail, right? We give you guys citations for assault. You go to jail, and you guys hash it out with the judge. Okay, we go to jail. So you arrest us now, or uh -huh. what? What is has bail or on something like that? You won't she be out till Monday. Monday afternoon. After okay, you go see a judge. They have meds down at jail. I, I, I'm I mean, guessing you I'm don't want to go to jail, right? I don't want to go to jail. And, but and I'm guessing she doesn't want to go to jail. But the more logical thing to be to I want, I want to avoid right each there. other. I've been trying to avoid her. But everything and I if can you want to pursue a restraining order, then you can. And then if she continues to contact you with a restraining order, then we'll go from there. Because then she's actively pursuing you against the restraining order. We'll give you a case number. You take take the case number down to the courts. Fill out can a. I, can I do one today? Well, we can't do the case the paperwork here. We give you the case number, and then okay. you have to go down to the courthouse and fill it out. You have to do it on Monday. Okay, does that literally lay? No. Nope, okay. downtown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Garbage without. Go, go talk to your apartment manager I've about this. Tried. And what do they I've say? Tried. Eight eight six it case numbers. I mean, I'm not doing anything but so correctly. But if you're, I don't really want you to come out. But, but here's the issue: is she's going to say that she, you're harassing her. You're going to say she's harassing you. I don't even say so anything. If, that's where it comes into he said, she said. Who hit who first? Who attacked who first? We are code for. And that's why it has to go before a judge if you want to pursue all this. Because the judge will determine, and here's the thing you need to know, the judge will determine who, can, who would be the primary aggressor. So if they have more wounds on them that are visible than you, or vice versa, then we run into an issue there. Because what happens is you have to have the case in front of the judge. And that's what we're trying to explain is the whole process to you. Oh, she's grabbing at me and I, and, at and me. We, we, we totally understand. And there's two sides to every story. We get here, we're just, we, you know, we just come clean up the, the, the mess and, you know, pick you guys up and dust you off and figure out what you want to do. If you want to go through a long, drawn-out court process and you want to press charges, we can do that. If you don't, I'll give you this case. Okay, if, if you don't, I'll give you this case number. You can go down to court on Monday, ask for a no-contact order, separating you from her. If you, you there, there's people there's people down there that that will help you out with that. Just tell me about that. No contact. No, I mean, how does it work when I live here and you know? They that's what they figure out down they down there. Else they can set up so many feet or so many yards. Yeah, but everything I need or anything that is the only reason I come out of my apartment is to go take out my garbage. I, I under, we understand, and uh, like we can't solve that for you today. I go days without taking out my freaking garbage, so I don't have to deal with that. I understand, that. but that's not something we can solve today for you, man. You understand what I'm saying? We're we're just here to pick you guys up and dust you off. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding.
moved out of town just be left alone. Moved out of what town? Spokane, downtown Spokane. Okay, well, yeah. You know? Crime is everywhere. Yeah. It's you're you're going to get it everywhere. Yeah. I mean, how many times have the police been here? In my place? No, in just in this complex. A lot. We're, we're well, here on I, a daily basis. Oh, are you? Yeah. Whether I you see know. us or not. Is it well, I see you guys once, so there's three, three different types of vehicles right there. And so let's do it. Why don't we do this? I'll give you the case number. You call downtown, or go, I'm sorry, go downtown. Tell them you want a no contact order. Okay? And they I don't will know the name, closer. though. I mean, I know it's Robin, but that's all I know. Can, we can't give you that information. They can look it up on the case. Because they'll have the case number yeah. from that. So I, we can. Sorry. We cannot provide you with her full name and date of birth. She screamed it, but I don't remember. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just, just let me talk. Let me talk, okay? But with this case number right here, Officer Berkner is going to write a report. It's going to have everyone's name in it. So when you go to court, you request this case. That has everyone's name, name and number for you. Am I? Am, can I? When I go down there, can I get a copy of the of the case? Or you'll the have report? to. Re you'll have to request a copy from our police department. From the relay. Yes. Okay. And our address is, it's in the, yeah, there's our website right there. Okay. Okay? All right. Anything else we can do for you? Are you good? Are you sure you don't need medics? You know, I think I'm okay. Okay. I'm sure, sure Are you going to go to the hospital? Yeah, I have got to call him to come back and, because i got to take You're going to the hospital for her, right? Her, and then I'll go. I just, yeah. What's this from? It's nerve. Okay. It's not from today, though? No, no. Okay. No. She was more grabbing at my, you know, I don't know if she's been drinking or what, but she was kind of off balance, so, but she just kept coming at me, and I, you know, grabbing at my shirt, and I'm trying to hold the dog, and, you know, and the dog fell, and, you know, because I couldn't protect her. I'm sure she'll be fine. There's an emergency vet at, uh... We just came from the vet today, because she just had x-rays, well, how many puppies she's going to have, and she's like a broken finger. Well, you yeah. probably need to go to the hospital, then. Okay, I'm just, we're just going to clarify again. You, all you want is your case number. You're going to go down and try to get a no contact order. You don't want to be a victim. You don't want to be a suspect today. No, I don't want to be left alone. Okay. okay. And we'll talk her down to Doug here. She's going to jail, okay? Okay. Thank you. When you do the same, stay away from her. Um, you can talk to her. I got her. You can get her side as well. Yeah, I got her info for you. You're Robin. I'm Robin. And I'm Robin.
we're going to give you the case number, and I'm going to write a report on it. Okay? Okay, so right now, both of you could go to jail. Yeah, I'm not Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need your phone number. So this is your case number. Okay. So, if you want to get more information, you can reference that case number. If you want to try to get a contact order, you can reference that case number. Okay. I'm explain this to you real quick. Okay. Okay. I told her not to contact you the rest of the day today. So stay away from me. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the same thing. In fact, I wouldn't even park here. I'd try to move your car somewhere else. This is my park. That's my okay. apartment. Okay. Well, I'd get into your apartment, or if she comes out to take her dog somewhere, just go in. I, that's your, what I did do. Let me finish, okay? If we come back it won't be for, this, me. for this, right, but we can't decide that. Our I mean, you won't, I won't that. be outside bothering her. Okay. If we come back, then you guys are going to go to jail, okay? okay? Can I explain something to you? So don't say a word to her. Oh, I usually don't. You. When she walks by, she usually turns her head because everyone's told her to leave me alone. Uh, my dogs, they're there. They are medical dogs, and I have a doctor's note on each one of them. Well, when she was breathing her dog, what started this whole thing is like, there, and there's a rule here. If you, I asked her, like, would you put your dog in a leash? She blew up everything to hit him. Okay. I and now I my dogs that. bark at her every time she goes okay. by. I can only deal with what's today. Okay. okay. So, but that's all I can go with. Right, okay. I understand. So, we got another thing that we got to get to. Right, I understand. Do you need anything else? Do you need medical or anything? No. I don't. Okay. I've got medication. Okay. Stay clear of each other. Hey, I'm okay. in my house in here. That's the only place you can go. Reference that case number if you need anything else. Right? <laughs> okay. Sorry to have you pulled out of me.